Kerr Enterprises manufactures brand new from scratch several different styles of nine inch rear ends. We're gonna show you some of the differences between all four of them today and some of the key features and benefits. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises, and today I wanted to go over a couple of our most popular, brand new, built from scratch here at Curry Enterprises, new 9-inch housings. Now, the 9-inch has been around since 1956, and they've been through junkyards and refurbished and rebuilt 100 million times over. But over a certain amount of time, as you can imagine, a lot of those just aren't good anymore. So the easiest thing to do, probably the best thing to do, is to just build a brand new rear end from scratch if you're going to outfit a hot rod, street rod, or muscle car. Now, this here is our, called our Centurion housing. It's by far our most popular housing. This is called our hot rod housing. And this is modeled after the original 1957 Ford 9-inch. Now, a couple of key features that you'll notice right away is just the sheer shape of it. This one's a little bit rounder, a little smaller. And this one here has got more of a webbed feel to it. And it's much wider. We'll go over the hot rod housing a little bit first. The hot rod housing has a butt welded style tube. And really what that means is we're going to use a 3-inch diameter tube, 188 wall, which is 3 16 and it gets butt welded, so just slipped over this end of the tube and welded 360 degrees. Not bad for a standard street car or hot rod or a 32 Ford or muscle car, but for a higher horsepower application or something a little bit heavier, we'd probably consider the Centurion, and we'll go over those benefits in just a little bit. This also has a, a benefit, just its small compact size. If you've got a shortened rear end or a small car that you need to have brackets welded very close to the center, this is going to give us the ability to move those brackets in real tight to the center line, which in some cases is a huge benefit for cars that are super narrow or for off-the-wall applications like trikes. Moving on to the Centurion, the Centurion is kind of modeled after the later model Fords, you know, your 60s and on up type of vehicles. You'll notice that it has a notch back. The design behind the notchback, or the idea behind the notchback, was to try to keep the oil closer to the ring gear for cooling effect. If you turn it around, you'll notice that there are holes here. What we do with these is we still use a 3-inch diameter tube, again, 188 wall, but the tube actually engages the center section by 4 inches, and so it's going to slip in just past this hole, and we actually rosette weld it here, in addition to welding a full 360 degrees on the outboard side, and we actually take it one step further and weld it on the inside as well. So tube engagement, three different places where we're going to weld this is going to add to the structural integrity of this housing. This is going to be a standard that we offer in all of our streetcar and muscle car crate rear ends. There is a notch on the faceplate, and you'll notice the notch here and here, which would allow this housing to actually take up to a 9.5 or 10 inch ring gear for you guys that are running drag race applications. We also use a 316 space plate, and once this is completely constructed and welded, we actually do a last operation where we come back in and re-machine that face plate. Reason being is with a stamped sheet metal form like this, the face plate could be slightly warped. And by coming back in and re-machining that, that means that the third member can sit square as it should be on the face of the, of the housing, meaning that there's no deflection or flex or unwanted load on the third member during installation. It's important to mention that in addition to the Centurion housing, a Galaxy housing is also available, meaning that it has a smooth round back modeled after the only one year 1965 Galaxy that this was available in. If you're running a higher horsepower application, something that is a drag race or a 1,000 horsepower muscle car or an autocross or road race vehicle, we actually have a new housing that we call the Turn 9, and I want to go over and show you a little bit of its benefits too. This is our fabricated Turn 9 housing. Full chromoly construction, and it, you'll notice right away, it's bent sheet metal style fabrication, right? The reason why we do that is by adding the bends in the sheet metal, we're adding rigidity and strength to the housing. Again, the name of the game is strength, and we don't want this to deflect at all under any type of force or rotation. Something we've added to the inside of the housing are these internal gussets. These internal gussets are also windowed for lightweight again, and they add additional strength to the housing to prevent rotation. We also use a 3-inch diameter chromoly tube, 188 wall, which is 3 16 and that's going to insert and actually engage into the housing another 4 inches, and is also notched here to prevent any type of rotating of the tube. All Turn 9 housings come with a 
fill cap, and an optional drain plug can be added as well, should you decide that you would like to add that. I highly recommend it for servicing it in the future. This is 30% lighter than our standard F9 used in the off-road applications. So weight savings is the name of the game on this one. 30% of weight unsprung in the back, it's a lot to lose. These are some of the basics on our most popular 9-inch housings. If you have any other questions on housing types, send us an email, give us a phone call, or leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.